5.4b, Introduction to Polynomials, Subtracting Polynomials. When we see a subtraction between two poly polynomials, as you can see in example one, we must first distribute the negative. Then we can combine like terms. see how this works in example one. As you can see in example one, we have a trinomial minus a second trinomial. As you can see, there's nothing in front of the first trinomial and therefore it may be dropped from its parentheses. On the other hand, there is a negative in front of the second trinomial. Remember that a negative without a number can either be seen as a negative one or the opposite symbol in which you ask yourself the opposite of each of the terms by distributing it through. We therefore say the opposite of 2x squared is negative 2x squared, the opposite of 9x is negative 9x, and the opposite of negative 4 is a positive 4. Remember that the negative does not just go with the first term and must be distributed to all terms inside. We may now combine like terms, starting with the highest exponent. We have negative 3x squared and a 2x squared. The x's can combine. And finally, the numbers. When we combine the x squareds, we find that we get 1x squared, which you can just write as x squared. Next, we have negative 7x and negative 9x, which will combine together to become negative 16x. And finally, we have positive 8 and a positive 4, which will combine together to become a positive 12. There are no more terms that are alike, and therefore this is our final answer. We will now look at example 2. In example 2, we once again have a trinomial subtracting a trinomial. In this example, the first one has nothing out front of the parentheses, and therefore they may be dropped. In the second, there is a negative symbol that must be distributed to all terms with inside the parentheses. This means we will get a positive 3y, a positive 7, and a negative 5x. We may now combine like terms, highlighting or Underlining helps to identify which terms are alike and that you do not forget any. We can now start by combining the x's and 2x minus 5x is negative 3x. Next, we combine the y's and a negative 8y and a positive 3y becomes a negative 5y. Finally, the 6 and the 7 are added together to become 13. It is important to remember that it does not matter which order you place your terms in, meaning you could have put in the 13 at the beginning or the 5y at the beginning. The important thing is to keep the sign with the number. If there is an order that can be determined from the terms as was seen in example 1, it is important to try to place your items from the highest exponent to the lowest or no exponent or variable.